Okay, so everyone asked for a video on INPA or INPA, however you want to pronounce it, or and DIS. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a video with PA Soft. It's quite quite straightforward, so I'll just post a few a few photos just to show how it works. So um, got the car running. You don't have to start the car. All you need to do is put it in position two, and we got the USB cable going into the 20 pin connector. If you have a newer car, you can just check under here, over there, somewhere is your 16 pin connector. So, IMPA already installed, um, very simple, just open it, double click, wait for it. I'll show you DIS is much more, much more complicated. So, we're just waiting for it to open. And there we go. Need to zoom. Okay, there we go. So you got battery on and you need ignition on the you know it works Okay, so we're going with you can just choose at the bottom here. So I'm gonna go with the E46 There we go, and then you go to engine or whatever you want to whatever you want to um, scan and We have the M52 engine Just need to check here. The Sun is killing me at the moment Just double click and it goes in so your options here with the uh, engine options that we have is you have the information identification coding all those things so just a brief quick one we check f4 is the memory let's go to let's go to f4 where the hell is this mouse i'm blind as a bat okay there we go, we can read the memory, so we go to read. It's very quick, shows in a minute, shows no no errors at the moment, so that's good news. With PA Soft, it scans the entire system, I know DIS does it as well. In INPA, you just search a specific function, so I just search the DME now, just checking if there's any errors there. DME will show up errors like uh, a misfire or ignition coil or vinyl system any of those things will pick up here so we go back just go back there okay so the next one we can go to is you can actually activate certain or you can read the status so if we go to activate we'll just go first go to status so you can check the status of certain things so here you can check for Excuse if there's any German there. You can check the sensor signals of the Varnos Lambda probes. You can test those. If there's any rough idle, you can check. So if I go to, say now I have a rough idle. Go to F7. Don't know what that is. And it shows you where each cylinder is idling. It's live data. So, I mean, if we up the, up the revs a bit, you can see it's bouncing up. But it's idling quite nicely. We don't have any red showing, you know, all the cylinders are below the maximum value and they're all quite in the middle. So actually running pretty, pretty smooth. Um, if you go to Varnos and you can see the live data from the Varnos. Usually we have the inlet at the top, exhaust at the bottom. And you'll see on this side, it shows what it's actually doing and where it wants to be. So so basically you want those two you just want those two values as close to each other 114 here or 113 you want it to say there as well so you know it's pretty running pretty solid at the moment 113 and 112 so it's quite close so it's fine you know and obviously if you press accelerator you know then those values will change again but as you can see if you have a sensor fault maybe if you have like a crankshaft sensor or camshaft sensor fault these these uh, values over here won't change. They'll stay exactly the same you, and you ref it, if you ref the car, those values won't change. So that's one indication. Excuse the biker mice from Mars, just quickly coming by. Okay, so um, if those values don't change, then you know you may have a, a sensor issue and you should change the sensor. But as we can see, values change, so we're all fine there. Okay, and what else do we have here? So it's a pretty nifty tool. Um, the only thing, you have the throttle position sensor, any other values, you have a lot of live data, so you can check the revs, check the 
uh, idols you can code if we activate go to activate you can actually activate certain things so here they say the system test for the vinyls we go to there and it's f4 vinyls let's go to vinyls and you can basically activate each each valve you can activate the exhaust or the, or the intake or exhaust you can test them and basically I'm not 100% sure how this works at the moment but if you click on it it shows German words and it asks for a value and then the car starts to idle at 1500 rpm so I need to check exactly what they do and I need to up my German but um, yeah basically it and you can also adjust the, the timing um, you can do a leak test to see if it if there's any leaks or in the system um, yeah but I still have to but you know it's possible I haven't mastered it yet but there's there's an indication that you can actually do those kind of tests um, you have other tests here as well LDP take it as the lamb, uh, lambda probe um, oh you can do a tank leak test just to check if there's any leaks in the tank um, have done it luckily it doesn't seem like there's any leaks there you can activate other systems and there's obviously the coding type but I'm not sure how that works uh, reading memory there's anything let's go there uh, it's just you see German again not 100% sure how that works but this is just remember this is just the DME so if I go back again and I'm back here at this screen that shows the battery working ignition working I can also choose just choose my car again you can check there's other models here we have the uh, any three series we have the um, the five series x5 series um, let's check his list all those there we go and over here we also have other others and by others just need to check there we go with those e other e's Um, so I'm just checking here because I'm blind as a bat my meds are making me quite blind so I'm actually using the camera now just to try and see where I need to click uh, if anyone has a Rolls Royce you can you can just you know minis as well will work on the system um, older there we go old model F9 I think I had that one right I told you I was blind Go to other, and you can see here some other systems. Is that the right one? Doesn't seem like the right one. Let's exit there. But yeah, you get the gist of it. You know, these are the system. I'll do a quick like type just to show all the cars that are available. But that's just a quick demonstration of what INPA can do. Shows you live data, clears codes, does coding, and you can do tests on certain various parts of the car and it'll show you if it's actually idling too high, if it's idling rough, if there's a, you can do ignition tests and all those things. So I hope this helps and next video will be just a brief, hopefully, explanation how DIS works.